So now that I'm done with my little rant and fixing up this area, I still haven't made it 1.7 proof, but I think I've done enough over here for now. Done cleaning this area up. Wasn't really necessary to do any of this, but whatever. OCD. I'm a. Hey, you can put ladders on chests. That's interesting. The more you know. Um. Yeah. So now that I'm done saying how much I hate Minecraft. <laughs> no. Now that I'm done with my little rant and everything like that, we can get into. Uh, some 1.8 stuff. Just showing off some main things, if you guys had noticed. Chests open and close. That's a big duh. Um, let's see. I took the coal out of there. Alright. Let's, let's fuck off. And uh, go back to our main house. The lakeside house. And uh, lock the door behind us. Like that. I could just do that with a button instead of a switch. I'll probably do that because that's kind of annoying. Uh, levers are nice, but, you know, they let everything in. So, uh, God. Loud mobs are loud. So this actually does work, even though there's not a... Um, a... Uh, station there to automate it for us and as you can see it is indeed much faster boom, boom. all right then we can sit here as long as we want doesn't matter just stick around and then we leave and oh boy <laughs> Something's broke. Well, that, that really sucks. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what's fucking broke. What happened to my switch? What the hell? Um, luckily I have all this clean stone. Oh, I don't suppose that's an update, is it? So now Necromar's thing doesn't work and I just went through all that effort for nothing. Let's, let's see. Oh, get in! Alright. Oh. Well, no, it's still broke. Well, shit. Did I break it? When I did this? When I went over here? Did I break it? I broke it, didn't I? Oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Hang on a second. Hang on a second here. Whoop. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Alright. Da 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 da. And. Here. We go. And. Off. Nope. Out. And no, still doesn't work. Well, something's been patched, and this method doesn't really work. But what's supposed to happen is once you get out, the piston... Did, oh, shit. <laughs> that, that just sucks. That's embarrassing. All right. <laughs> you know, when I put the video together and then sped it up, uh, I realized that it was four hours of video that I had recorded. So it took four hours to essentially make something that doesn't doesn't work. I could have sworn it worked, but I did have a little bit of gas issues. So, yeah. How about that? And it was during the pre-release, so who knows how many pieces of redstone are like fake redstone <laughs> or anything like that. There was this weird bug where, um, you know, at a crafting table, whenever you uh, leave everything on the table and then just exit the crafting menu, everything falls in front of you and you can pick it right back up. Well, in the pre-release, that would actually glitch out. And you'd get, like, infinite fake items. It was annoying. 
Ah, there's some experience orbs that do absolutely nothing yet. Um, I really like the idea of skills. Kind of, kind of a fan of that idea, and I also don't mind that they reset when you die. So, you know. Oh yeah, I should have slept here. Crap, I put this here because I figured out that it was obstructed. That you don't have to have an open ceiling, but whatever. Alright. Things to show off. Let's see. Wooden stuff goes in here. Oh, I should have brought these ladders. Anyways. Use that for later if I want. Uh, cobblestone goes in here. I'll take this with me. Clean stone goes in here. And coal goes in here. God damn, I got a ton of freaking coal. All right. And not very much iron anymore. Thanks to all those tracks and whatnot. You know, do I have like, this is my random shit, right? You go in there. So yeah, stackable food, stackable food. Loving it. All right, so I also want some of this bone meal, and I probably want to make some more bone meal because I'm gonna show you guys something straight out of Alice in Wonderland here. You probably already know exactly what I'm gonna do, and don't want me to show you this and just get on with the searching around and everything. I'm gonna find a big, wide open spot because this is gonna be big. All right, uh, let's go ahead and put you here, like that, all right. So, just like that, and bone meal. Ouch, but now we got super mushrooms, right? Love it, and uh, oh dear. Maybe I need something to harvest these. You're supposed to get zero to two, maybe you need like an ax. Um, I should have an axe. If I don't, I'll just go make one. Alright, we'll try this. Yeah, this is kind of another one of those fuck you users thing that Notch has added because he added the ability for mushrooms to grow in 1.7. Oh boy, I guess it's pretty random to get any mushrooms. It still seems like a better way than a mushroom farm. So a lot of people in 1.7 went through a lot of effort to uh, make mushroom farms and everything, and now you can just do this. With a little bit of bone meal instantaneously, like from one mushroom, I've gotten, ooh, there was three in that one, so I guess you can get a maximum of three. I thought it was zero to two. But um, anyways, I mean, yeah, it hurts you, but with the new health system, as long as you've got a full belly, you regenerate health. So yeah, I can make a lot of uh, mushroom soup now. Mm. Which is good because, uh, again, food now sucks in this game. <laughs> and, I mean, you're gonna get bones from skeletons all the time. So, once you find just like your first red and brown mushroom together, you can make as much mushroom soup as you want. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So. Once I get, oh, I don't know, a couple stacks of 64 each, if I have enough bone meal for that, uh, then, uh, or axes for that matter, wow. Um, yeah, once I uh, have enough uh, mushrooms and whatnot, make some mushroom soup, then we're going to go down to that unintentional uh, area that I uh, went to when I was trying to link up my two uh, portals. And I made two axes. Where's my other axe? Where the hell is my other axe? I didn't make two axes, did I? Fuck. Well, does beating it... No, okay, you can just beat it. So I just wasted an axe. That's fine. Yeah, all right, you can still get mushrooms if you beat it. Anywho, um, yeah, make some soup, go to that uh, place down south, 
I didn't really intend to go with my, um, no, I swear I'm not getting as many this way. There we go. God, it's so random. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want you to have, like, just infinite mushrooms, but you can still do it if you have enough attrition to go along with it. Um, so we're going to go down south there where I didn't really explore too far from beyond the gate. So a lot of the area around there is going to be uh, 1.7 still. But uh, shouldn't have to walk too far before we start generating new 1.8 stuff. And uh, we're going to go exploring. I'm going to go look for Endermen. And we're going to go look for mine shafts and strongholds. And we're going to have plenty of mushroom soup on the way, so we can just say, screw you, hunger bar, you stupid, oh god, it's such a stupid mechanic, it really, really annoys me, I hope he changes it, <laughs> like, I don't know if I just feel that way because I haven't had to deal with it the entire time I've played Minecraft, but I really, I really hate the hunger bar, I hate it. There should at least be something that directly heals you to go along with it. Like right now, the only way to heal your health is to have a full hunger bar. That's it. There is nothing. Well, that's not true. If you find a golden apple in a dungeon, that'll heal you. But, um... Oh, God, so fucking annoying. Anyways, I need to stop talking so I can do a fade out. Alright, I just realized I didn't show this mushroom, and since this is going to be the uh, last one I make, this is what the brown ones look like. They're big. Giant shiitake. Mmm, I hate mushrooms. <laughs> In real life. But Minecraft, they make mushroom soup, and they are so delicious. And uh, they seem to also be dropping more mushrooms. I don't know if there's, like, more to this mushroom or whatever, but especially these brown bits seem to be dropping Lots, lots more. And I figure it's, you know, I had like, what, 20 bone meals? Now I'm down to nine, and I don't have two stacks of 64. But I got, uh, I got, well, I mean, of each. Obviously, I have two stacks of 64 of each kind, but never mind. So, since I'm so low on bread, because that's what I ate uh, in the nether while making my broken... <laughs> Uh, I have no idea why that's, why that stupid thing's broken. But I do know that it's pissing me off. So let's see. Go ahead and make 64 bowls. Which will require s three stacks of 64. Like that. And then, oh, I know, I won't. Shit. Oh, well. <laughs> we can now see that this bug does not happen anymore. Pick it right back up. And we put, doesn't matter which order you put these in, in case you forgot. Da -da -da -da. Oh, no, these don't stack. Mushroom bowls don't stack. Oh, shit. Why don't those stack? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I do need to grow a wheat farm. Shit. Well, that, that really sucks. Why don't these stack, God damn it, Notch? God. Oh! <laughs> I was expecting... <laughs> you have thrown me for a loop. Curse you, Notch. <laughs> My plans are ruined. Oh, damn. That that really just sucks. That just plain old sucks. Ah, oh. Mushroom stew does not stack. Mm-mm-mm. And now that bread does... See, it used to be that with bread, you would need to carry wheat with you. And then make it out of workbench, but now that's the case for mushroom stew. Well, shit. All right, I'm gonna have to make a farm. Um, 
Yeah, this is definitely going to be another one of those fade out moments. Alrighty, while this farm is getting started, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a look at something else that uh, 1.8 introduces. The glass pane. And to me, it just seems like you want to use these instead of glass everywhere. The reason being because they can be broken and gotten back let's test that out yep you get them right back Hoo -hoo. yes I like these I like these a lot I don't suppose that they could be placed I mean, they do work exactly like fences. Um, and therefore, since fences can now be placed on top of each other, oh dear. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh. Well, regardless of that, hey, now I've stumbled on something good here. As long as this is, oh, crap. Oh, good thing I can get these back. Um,. As long as this whole area here is too high, nothing can get in. Now, I believe the main difference here is um, glass panes are only one high, I think. Don't quote me on that. Something's only one high. Iron fences are only counted as one high. Wouldn't be surprised if, whoop, glass panes weren't as well. Yeah, okay. So if I can hop on top of them, they're only one high. So, I wonder if he ever plans on changing fences to be only one high. Okay, so I'm not completely safe yet. Besides, whoa! Skeletons can drop on me. So, when you stack them up... Whoa, okay. That's weird. Okay, so... You Wow. It's just that they're really difficult to stack up on top of each other. I mean, I got it back. Do I have a bucket of water? I do. Alright. That hurts my eyes. Remove it immediately. Um... Shit. I think in terms of the block. Put your crosshair where you know the block is. I'm not 100% sure how I got up here.
These aren't only half blocks, are they? These can't be half blocks. God damn, these are so difficult to place. Ah!